Hey everyone, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. This is Living in Columbus, Ohio. And today I've got another incredible episode as we're gonna talk about the four things that you must know before moving to Columbus, Ohio. And this is the weather edition. What's up everyone, my name is Brad Winter and if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you tap on that subscribe button below and you click on the bell so you get notified every single time I do a new video. And in these videos, I talk about everything that you need to know about working, eating, living, playing in the Columbus metro and surrounding areas. And one thing to know, I am a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Ohio. And as much as I love doing these videos for you guys, I would love nothing more to help you with your real estate needs. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the Columbus Metro or surrounding areas, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text message, hit me up on an email, whatever you need to do, make sure you do it because I'm gonna be the guy that has your back when moving to our incredible city. All right, so everybody always asks, what's the weather like in Columbus? Well, here you go, here are four things that you need to know. First thing, and this is the biggest question that I get asked all the time, specifically from people that are moving maybe from the West Coast or the Southwest that doesn't see a lot of snow, is what is the winters like? And my honest answer is, I feel like the winters are pretty mild when it comes to snowfall, but they are brutally cold. And people don't really like to hear that. That's just the facts. So here in Central Ohio, our average snowfall is about 22 inches a year, which if you really think about it, that's not a ton of snow. A lot of people always associate Ohio, it's gotta get a bunch of snow, it's gonna be brutal, but Columbus, the way we're located in the state, you know, we're not gonna get those heavy snowfalls that Cleveland or Toledo's gonna get because they're getting a lot of the lake effect snow and the weather that you know is kind of determined by what's going on around those lakes. Columbus, we get snow. You're gonna get a couple big snow days every single year, but really we get just a light dust of snow. But really the biggest thing is it's cold. And when I mean cold, it's freezing. The one thing when I talk about freezing cold weather is the average January low is, let's see here, 21 degrees, which is right on par with kind of the rest of the country. Now, what I thought was really interesting is, let me scroll down here to my notes. A, January has the coldest nighttime temperatures for Columbus, and the amount of freezing nighttime low temperatures is around 109 days annually that we are gonna see nighttime temperatures fall below freezing. And the cool thing is, if you wanna say it's cool, the thing is that's it's really like warmer than most places in Ohio. So again, we talk about the weather, it's gonna be cold here, we're gonna get some snow, but you'll get used to it, it'll be all right, and it's definitely not as cold as other places in the state or throughout the Midwest or the Northeast. Number two, and a lot of people wanna know about this too, is what is our rain? And my notes are showing me here that we get 40 inches of rain on average per year, which is pretty much in line with the rest of the United States. So if you're moving from you know, an area that you get some rain, maybe it's Chicago, maybe it's Nashville, you're not really gonna see like much of a difference. Now, if you're coming from a desert state, you're definitely gonna experience a little bit more rain than maybe you're used to for sure. But you know, we don't get a ton of rain, obviously in the spring, that's gonna be when you're gonna experience it the most which is still not that bad. You know, I think this year, it'll be interesting to look back on this year's rain because it feels like it's rained a lot more this year than any other time that I can remember. But again, the weather this year has been all over the place, so who the heck knows. Number three is how many sunny days are there in Columbus or you know, better yet, just Ohio? And that is another question that always comes up, especially for my West Coast clients. 
you know, out in Colorado, Utah, you get a ton of sunny days. Well, guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but when you move here, the sun doesn't exist that much. On average, we get about 178 sunny days per year. The US average is around 205. So again, it's because really we have all four, we truly have all four seasons. And because of that, you are going to experience that with cloudy days, gloomy days, rainy days, snowy days, and you're not always gonna get the sun. So if so, if you're somebody that just loves the sun, you, you, you love to feel that warmth on your face all the time, flat out, don't move here because you are not gonna get that but 178 times per year. Uh, when you live here, I guess, you know, I've grown up here my whole entire life. I'm used to it. It's just something you kind of just embrace and you kind of get over eventually. But this is another huge thing for people, especially if you're coming from areas of the country that have a ton of sun. I understand it could have a little bit of effect on your mood. I know for me in, in the winter time, we don't see the sun so that much. So it's always good for us to get out of here. Maybe go down to Florida, maybe go out to Arizona and we take a little vacation just to get that sun on our face. So again, something to think about when you're moving here, you're not gonna get a ton of sun. The fourth and final thing that you need to know about moving to the Columbus area or Ohio in general is that you are gonna experience a fall like you have never had before, in my opinion. The fall here is absolutely beautiful. I've talked about it before on a number of different videos, and I know I'm probably a little biased, but the weather is incredible. The scenery is amazing. I mean, if you if you leave the Columbus area 20, 25 minutes, you're gonna get out into the country, right? That's just, if you look on a map, you're gonna see that our Columbus Metro and the surrounding kind of suburbs, after 25, 30 minutes, it kind of disappeared. So you were gonna to get to more of a rural setting with cornfields and woods and all those different things, but you were gonna see beautiful fire colored leaves and you know, our sunsets here are incredible in the fall. And it, it's just, it's a amazing time of year. So if you're somebody that loves all four seasons or maybe you haven't ever experienced like a true fall before, I've had clients that they don't get, you know, the, the leaves changing colors or that brisk morning where it's not cold enough to wear a winter jacket, but you gotta throw something on to stay warm. Those are those are my favorite mornings. I love them. Um, so some people don't really know what that's like. And they love it when they end up moving here. So that's something definitely to think about. Again, this episode was just supposed to be fun. People always ask about the weather, so I thought I'd do a new video about it. I would love to hear you guys' comments below. You know, what you guys think about the weather. How does it, you know, affect your day-to-day -day, day -day life? Or, you know, what do you love about it? What do you hate about it? Just Shoot me a comment, I'd love to start the discussion. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about moving or relocating to our incredible city, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text message, fire off an email, whatever you need to do it. Make sure you get a hold of me because I'm gonna have your back. We're moving to Columbus, Ohio.